Hello. Welcome, everyone. A few people's filtering in here. Uh, my name is Vish Abrams. I'm the chief architect of Heroku, and I'm going to be talking to you today about streamlining your application builds with Cloud Native Build Packs. Let me start out by telling you a little bit about myself. So I've been working in as a service platforms for about 10 years, both at Oracle and startups before joining Heroku. Uh, but I actually got started in cloud uh, working at the NASA Ames Research Center outside of San Francisco. And we were actually trying to build a Heroku-inspired platform as a service there. Funnily enough, what we discovered is that in order to provide a platform as a service, you really need an infrastructure as a service underneath it. That's why they, you see that common diagram with the infrastructure at the bottom, then platform, then software. And what we discovered is that there wasn't an available infrastructure as a service platform. We couldn't use public cloud at NASA. And so we, GovCloud didn't exist yet, so we had to build our own. Uh, we ended up open sourcing the software that we created there, which eventually became the OpenStack project. How many people remember OpenStack? Okay, that's about half. For those of you that don't, uh, it was the cool kid on the block before Docker and Kubernetes were around. But amazingly, it was also one of the fastest growing open source projects of all time. We went from about 10 developers to over 500 developers contributing to the project within six months across dozens of companies. So some of you probably don't know what Heroku is. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what we do at Heroku. Um, essentially, we were the first platform as a service using containerization. Only containers weren't really known back in the late 2000s, and so we called them something else. We called them dynos. Uh, and we combined these dynos with database, managed databases, and a little bit of magic to create this wonderful developer uh, platform that developers actually really love. So what was the secret sauce of Heroku? The thing that Heroku realized was that if you could make a streamlined magical experience starting with developer source code and going all the way into a deployable artifact where a person didn't have to think about all of the stuff that existed beforehand, uh, it would be truly powerful. So if you remember, how many people were developing web software in the, the late aughts, 2008, 2009? Okay, a few, few of you are out there are old, oldsters like me. So back then you had LAMP stacks, you had virtual private servers, you had Linux upgrades. There was so much you had to worry about. You couldn't just be a developer, you were automatically an operator as well. And so Heroku developed this idea that if you could just git push your source code and then a couple minutes later your code is running on the internet, that would be fantastic. The first time I experienced this was a big wow moment for me. It was like, wow. A whole bunch of the things that I used to worry about are just gone. I just don't have to think about these things anymore. So the thing powering that experience is something called a Heroku build pack. And a build pack is basically a streamlined way to take source code in any language and construct it into a deployable artifact. Docker took this same idea of deployable artifacts, they called them OCI images, uh, but instead of using build packs, they introduced this concept of a Docker file. And a Docker file is sort of a double-edged sword. You have this incredible flexibility. You can kind of do whatever you want in a Docker file build, uh, but you also lose the simplicity. And so people actually do whatever they want in a Docker file build. And so what you end up with is this complexity around building and deploying software where everything is a little bit different and a little bit unique. How many people use Docker files in their organizations to do builds? Yeah, almost everyone, right? Have you ever noticed that when you use Docker files, what you end up with is every single development team has their own special snowflake? It's like there's no shared strategy for how to even build an image. So to help with this approach, to help solve this problem, a few years ago, Heroku worked with the community to develop cloud-native build packs. That's a logo up at the top that you see there, buildpacks.io. And the idea was take that magic that Heroku had building with their internal build packs and modernize them using uh, OCI-supported primitives. So create an OCI image out of um, source code. But the cloud-native uh, build packs community so far has been relatively small. 
And we think the reason the cloud native build packs community has been small is because we haven't brought in that truly magical experience of having curated, well-maintained build packs that just automatically take your source code into an image. So that's what I'm talking about and announcing here today. So we're actually announcing Heroku Cloud Native Build Packs. Uh, and you can go to this URL, github.com Heroku Build Packs, or scan the QR code to get started working with us in the community. Um, and that means on your local machine, you get an automated build experience that ends up starting with your source code in whatever language that's supported by Heroku. And you end up with an OCI image that you can run locally or run wherever you want. And it's open source, open community. We'd love to have contributions and help building this community up. So that's it for me. Thank you for listening. <laughs>